What's up guys? Guess what? We're back on the water. But this time, we got something fancy. Here is the new addition to our fleet. This is a 246 Worldcat. 24 feet, 6 inches. Catamaran. Took it offshore a little bit earlier. And uh, we only went about 5 miles out. It was bumpy. As you can see here, got the T-top, got a nice cooler here, got our offshore tackle, got some heavy tackle there. We, we're just fishing some lighter tackle right now. Got our raw water wash down, which is nice, so we catch something, get blood everywhere, we can spray it off. Awesome stuff. I'm going to do a review of this guy right here. This is a Gomexis HX20 I just picked up. This is its first trip out, and so far I am loving it. It is machined really nicely, uh, pretty, pretty flawless, and uh, there's everything's really tight. And it's two-speed lever drag. It's got a 60-pound max strike, so that's uh, currently spooled with 640 yards of. 50 pound test. Got this rod here too. This is a uh, Okiaya. Got the rollers instead of oh, loops. And oh, Emily's reel is oh, screaming. Get the, uh, net. Taking some drag. Cool. Keep walking. Go past me. There you go. Another black tip. There we go. Sharky, sharky, sharky. What's up, guys? All right, doing a little catch and cook here. So, picked up some of uh, that mangrove snapper out of the bay yesterday, and we're gonna make this up into a snapper piccata. So I got some shallots chopped up here doing the prep work, got some onions, or I'm sorry, some uh, lemons sliced, got plenty of butter. Getting the water boiling for some linguine pasta. Don't forget to add a little salt, throw maybe a tablespoon of olive oil in there, helps keep the pasta from sticking. And then we are going to um, heat up this pan here. We will do a quick saute on the lemon slices makes an awesome garnish and if you're gonna make a meal this good you may as well do it and then we're gonna wilt uh, some spinach some fresh spinach and add some seasoning all right water's getting ready to boil here get, we're going to get some shallots just uh, sweat it out here then we'll add the spinach and some seasoning to it this is gonna be for our fish which we've got the fresh fillets that I just filleted earlier today and this is going to be the sauce, so we're melting down some butter here, along with some salt and pepper, and then uh, some garlic powder, and then we're also going to put some capers and caper juice, and can't forget to put in some white wine. So, we'll get this all going. Alright, so we got spinach, got some garlic powder in there with our shallots and salt and pepper. We got our fish dredged in flour and salt and pepper, a touch of cayenne pepper. And then we've got our sauce, which is butter, white wine, capers, caper juice, shallots, and a touch of salt. And then uh, pots is over here. It's finished, and I coated it with a little bit of olive oil, olive oil so that way it won't stick. And uh, almost ready. Now it's time to dive in. That is going to be a yummy dish. So, if you want more details on exactly how to make it, uh, just comment below and I'll let you know. Cool, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Mangrove Snapper. Hodgepodge Garage Style. Oh, don't forget, make cool shit.